My name is Susan Ticelli. I am 12 years old. I have life-threatening food allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, and soy. I just finished an oral immunotherapy clinical trial for my peanut allergy. Because of my participation in the clinical trial, I have had six epinephrine requiring anaphylactic reactions over the last 18 months. I self-administered my epinephrine five of those times. I had my mom record me during my last anaphylactic reaction because I want to teach people about the importance of early administration of epinephrine. I believe knowing what to do makes it all less scary, and I want to share my experience in case someday it saves someone's life. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. My mom says I'm super observant. I like to sit in my sister's room when she takes her peanut dose. There have been times when she has reactions. She gets all red in the face, and one time she got wheezy. So, I don't know, I have to inject the heavy cut. I get nervous. How do you know when to administer epinephrine? So epinephrine should be administered if you are having an allergic reaction. Now, it really should be administered if you have any severe symptoms, but any two symptoms. So if you have hives and wheezing, you should immediately administer epinephrine. Really, you can't go wrong administering epinephrine. If they're having any trouble breathing at all, lots of coughing, feeling like they're wheezing, or they can't catch their breath, then that's a definite reason to give epinephrine. If you're sitting there thinking, wondering if this is a time when I should be using my epinephrine, you should probably be using your epinephrine. The only thing you're ever going to regret is not giving epinephrine when you should have. I'm looking at the food allergy and anaphylaxis emergency uh, care plan, uh, which FAIR developed uh, for the benefit of families to ensure that epinephrine is administered immediately in the event of an anaphylactic reaction. We include this uh, document in our toolkit, which we make broadly available to allergists and to families. We know that early administration of epinephrine helps prevent biphasic reactions. This means after your original reaction, you have a second reaction. Kids who had more severe reactions at onset tended to have a higher rate of having a biphasic reaction. And so it's really important that you use epinephrine right on the onset of a reaction to avoid that severity that you could have with anaphylaxis. I'm stilling my body, calming myself, and thinking I know what to do and that I will do it. So what are you going to do now? You have to like massage the area. Mm -hmm. It is so hard to let precious seconds tick by, but empowering Susan to self-administer is an incredible gift. I already feel better, <laughs> actually. Yeah. What was going on before you injected that? I felt like hot and my nose was runny. Well, not really runny, it's like just like stuffed. Um, a little hard to breathe. So, how did I do? 
you did have some anxiety about giving it to yourself. It wasn't something that you just easily did. You had to think through it a little bit. And the recommendations I would make if you know, I was giving you tips would be, it's helpful I think for anyone, including parents that are injecting it to their children or um, people injecting it to themselves to count out loud for the 10 seconds, because then I think that it helps you know that you're counting, you're, you're using the appropriate time and making sure that the injection is complete. In May 2016, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration updated the patient instructions for epinephrine auto injectors. The injection hold time was reduced from 10 seconds to 3 seconds. Even if you have some hesitation during the process, even if you don't have the absolute perfect technique, all that matters very little. You're going to take the hand that you're going to be injecting with, put it in your palm, put your thumb in the center, and wrap your fingers around your thumb. This is going to prevent you from accidentally putting your thumb over where the safety should be, which is one of the errors that Susan had initially made in when she was starting to self-administer. Remember, always count to three out loud. One, two, three. As others may look at this and see someone who looks relatively healthy. And I think it's really important, you started feeling symptoms, you had multiple symptoms going on, uh, and you knew you were ready and you needed to get that benefit, and that's exactly what you should do. Don't wait until the symptoms get totally out of hand. Uh, give it right at the onset. So even though you didn't look like you were, you know, in severe anaphylaxis, you know, fainting or passing out, you did exactly what you should be doing. What it really showed to me was the honesty in a child who is getting ready to use it, knowing you need to, but having a little bit of apprehension and fear. But you did it very well. A um, couple things, you know, holding the epinephrine or counting big message here to me is that you got the medicine in um, and you got better. And that is really key and very important to show the world.